What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Manny here, car exclusive. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for passing by. If you like this video, hit the thumbs button, hit a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, thanks a lot, you guys, for my last video. You guys showed a lot of love to me, my family. You guys gave me a lot of likes, man. That video was pretty awesome. So if you're new to the channel, you never watched that video, go watch it. If you're new or if you subscribe and you don't have that little bell turned on, that notification bell, turn it on. It will give you, it will give you, um, it will let you know that I post a new video so that way you don't miss any contact. There's a lot of stuff coming soon to the channel so stay tuned. Thanks again for all the love guys. I appreciate every single bit of it. So we are here inside the garage, not driving today. We're sitting in the car. We just wanted to upload this video for you guys real quick. Two things. Two things that I really hate about the Honda Accord. Now that I'm just saying them, I really hate these two things about the Honda Accord. I've seen some other YouTubers do other videos about five things. I don't know if you guys saw those videos, five things I hate about my Honda Accord. Let me tell you something. If you hate five things about your car, your Honda Accord, a brand new car, listen to what I'm going to tell you. You need to trade that car in. Five things is too much. If I hate five things about this car... That means this car is going back to the dealer. There's no way I'm keeping it. I'm not trying to start no war. It's just my uh, opinion. It's just my how I feel about it. If you hate five things, oh my God, this is not like your wife that you could keep it. That you have to keep it or keep if you want to. But this car, this car, you could just go take it back to the dealer. Just return it. Why you hate five things about your car, man? Come on. Some people just do videos to get views and stuff like that. So I'm not hating on anybody. You guys know me. I don't, I'm not into all that stuff. I'm looking good. This workout, this workout, guys, it's been a whole month already. Hitting it hard in that bike. Losing weight and getting fit. So I hope you guys are working out too. So yeah, if you hate five things about your car, in my personal opinion, that's too many things. You should get rid of the car and get yourself another car. I mean, you don't, you're not stuck with the car. So it's not like the wifey. You're stuck with her. It's like, that's a joke, just in case, because my wife be watching, guys. Now, I love you, baby, if you're watching. I love my wife. But now, I only hate two things about this car. And trust me, I asked my wife a couple questions, a couple times this question. What do you hate about the car? Do you What do you hate about the car? It's, it's difficult to hate something about this car. We love this car, like the video we did before. Go check it out. We love this car. This car is awesome. This car is... It's a great vehicle, it's a family car, and if you want to go fast, you can go fast. What else can you ask for? Right now, we're getting close to the 1,000 miles on the car, by the way. So, I asked her a couple times, what do you hate about the car? Because it was hard for me to find something to hate. It really was. I'm being, I'm giving you the truth, honest, on this car. So, I don't make videos just to get views. I want, I'm honest. I want to give you guys the real deal. If you're trying to buy a car or you... Or oh, you're trying to buy this car, you came to the right channel. I'm going to give you the 100% truth. So there's two things we hate about the car. And I'm going to tell you my first one right now. When you put the car in manual, there's no way to take it off a of manual. When you use the paddle shifters right here. So I was having a hard time taking it off of manual mode. So I tried a couple of things. I couldn't get it off of manual mode. The only way I got it off was by... Hitting neutral and then hitting drive. So I don't know if you guys have another way. If you do, leave it in the comments. I hope I didn't make a fool of myself, but leave it in the comments. I'm really haven't tried anything else. Just just the only way that I figured to take it off of being manual mode is from from putting it in neutral and then turning it back to drive while the car is actually driving. So I wish it had like a button somewhere that I could turn on manual mode and turn it off. That way, I could I could leave in you know in first gear, and I have to put the car in manual when I'm already driving at a five speed or six speeds, six miles per hour. I mean, so that's one of the things I hate. It's not a big deal. I'm not being picky. Like I saw a video about a guy that he was talking about five things he hates about his Honda Accord, and I was cracking up, yo. He said he hates how the car sounds when it's cold when it starts. I'm like, dude, are you serious? Did do you ever have a Honda? Like, come on, Hondas always, they all sound pretty much the same. He said he hates how the car starts when it's cold. What the heck? What do you want it to sound like? It's a freaking motor. It's cold. The engine's, the, the oil is cold. What do you want the car to sound like? A freaking beauty or something? Come on, guys. 
Some people just don't make any sense. They make videos just to get attention or whatever, you know? Not me. I give you the 100% truth. So that's, that's the number one thing. And the number two thing that I hate is... You guys like saw my second previous video, I think, or third. My um, low pressure for my tire came on. The low pressure um, warning came on. And that freaking thing, yo, takes the whole the whole RPM clock. Like, it's so big. Like, Honda, really, you had to make it so big? Like, they could have just left it the way it is now, which I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to show you. They should have just left it like this. So I'm going to shut the car down off and then I'm going to shut it back on so you can see how big it looks on the screen. I find it to be really annoying because now when I every time I start the car, I got to go to menu and go to taco meter to, to take that out of the screen. Because I don't want to drive around with a whole, with a big warning sign on my dash. Like, who the heck needs a big warning sign? Cars back in the day only had a check engine light. Like, come on, Honda. You could have did better with that. You know what I mean? It has two two warning signs right now two exclamation points on well one exclamation point and the and the little tire thing with the exclamation point so i find it like really 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 ridiculous to have that cover your rpms like i really don't like it something that i really hate i wish i could just turn that off i don't know if i can but i just don't like it at all it's not it's i hate that more than the manual mode i really it really bothers me so let me flip this around so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Alright guys, I'm about to start the car. Watch what happens. Boom! There you go. Look, you can barely see your needle for for um your RPMs. And now it's telling me to put on my seatbelt, but I'm not driving. So there you go. There you go. Look. Huge. I bet you for the for the oil and all the other stuff that it's gonna happen. All the reminders is gonna all pop up on that, on the taco meter, and it's just gonna block. Like you could see it a little bit, but I, I, I like seeing my, my whole taco meter just in case I want to rub it hard. So this is what I do. I press this this home button, and then it takes me to there, and then I select which your your little wheels select right here. So I select that, and it turns it off. See? So now you only have it up here. And down here so see now you don't see that and you could drive without having that on your on your dash which is really annoying so tomorrow I'm planning on taking the car to the dealer to to check this tire pressure I used to have a gauge I would have fixed it myself but my compressor broke so I might just buy a gauge and um, my compressor had the gauge on it I just might I just might I'll probably buy a gauge at uh, advanced auto and just figure out which tire is the one that's low so this car is pretty advanced. I should at least tell you what tire is, is the one that's low, but it doesn't. So let me flip the camera around so I could close the video out. So yeah, guys, that's two things I hate about the car. Not five. I don't. I love this car. We love this car. I mean, we love. We had a brand new 09 Civic. We had a brand new 2010 CRV, and um, we never loved the car as much as this. And even my old Civics. The, the, the EK, the EG bubble, all the Mazdas that I had, all these other cars that I had. I even had a 2.0 SI uh, Prelude. I don't know if you guys know which ones those are, but those are like pretty old. I even had a Toyota FX. I had a bunch of cars. I had a Celica GTS, so I had a lot of cars. That's what makes me different from a lot of YouTubers. They, they, this is their first car. This is their first turbo car. I, I, I'm, I'm related to these cars already. I had turbo in my, in my two of my Civics, so it's nothing new to me to have a turbo engine and you know, and feel the power. I mean, this car has a lot of power, so this car is real torquey. So I don't like. I like that it doesn't have a lot of torque steer. So it's pretty. It's a fun car to drive. I love this car. I can't wait to to upgrade the computer and the, and and the intercooler and. The, intake all these things that are coming for the car so just stay tuned subscribe to the channel guys thank you for watching thank you for your comments if you have any comments let them know if you don't like this video give it a thumbs down we just you know making videos to make give you guys some information about the car and how we feel about it so far soon hitting a thousand miles we'll do a review on that so so far it's so good we love the car only two things we hate about the car all right guys stay tuned for the next video, I might hit those two dealers tomorrow and I'll be uploading 
one probably on Friday and one on Sunday. I'm only trying to upload two or three videos a week. That's why you don't see me doing videos every single day. But hit that bell, like I said, and, and just stay tuned, man. You're going to have fun, guys. A lot of events are coming up, so we're going to be out there looking for beautiful cars to show you guys and have fun in this car. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. Thank you again for all the love, and I appreciate you guys. Hey, and remember, stay exclusive, all right?